Hey there, Joe Techie back again. Doing a review today on the Weiwo, however you pronounce that, W-A-W-O, uh, Bluetooth keyboard case for the new iPad Air 2. Looks like we've got a nice little case here, uh, leather style folio case, rechargeable Bluetooth, has a uh, detachable keyboard. Let's just go ahead and take this all out and have a quick look at it. Okay, so maybe it comes with a charging cable there. See what else we have in the box. Doesn't look like much. Looks like a little quick start guide kind of buried in here. It doesn't want to come out very easily. Okay, yep, just a little user guide. And there's the charging cable. Okay, so here is the actual keyboard. It's got these little little designer style cutouts on both sides. This is the brand. Don't know how you want to pronounce that. W A W O. It's kind of like a potato, potato. Okay, so here's the keyboard and there's the backing right here. Set that aside. All right, so the keyboard itself pops out. It's magnetic, so that's kind of a neat feature because you can actually move this to different uh, different angles depending on how you want to view your, have the iPad viewed. So you can have multiple viewing angles. So that's actually a pretty strong point on this particular case. So let's go ahead and uh, present my iPad into this, the Air 2, actually. All right, let's do it this way instead so that way the volume buttons aren't being stressed out. Okay, so this is it, fully closed. It's got a pretty decent profile, it's not too bad. It's actually fairly light. Smart cover as well, so it actually opens or wakes the iPad up. That's kind of a neat feature. All right, let's turn this on. Okay, so we've got a little Bluetooth light lit up here now. Let me go ahead and go into the iPad. Let's go into the settings. All right, so I need to press this little, little button right here. That pair puts it in pairing mode. And it's asking me for a code, so let's put in the 06. To o, enter. Okay, so it's currently paired, it's connected. So I should be able to click the home button. Let's see, we can do some quick typing here. All right. That's a little confusing. The delete and the backspace button are two different keys. Spacing the key seems pretty nice. Uh, feels decent. It's got this leathery, leathery feel to it on both sides. It's nice. Again, it's magnetic, so it actually sticks right to the case. Okay, not bad. Pretty decent case, it's a roughly about a $25 spend on this. So it's really pretty decent for the money overall. And it's got the folio look to it. It's got all the function keys. The, the You have to press the function button in conjunction with the function keys. So you've got your brightness, your home button, the lock key, your keyboard toggle on and off, your Siri search function, your play, stop, rewind, and volume up and down, mute. So pretty standard keys. You also have the home page down and the keys over on this side. Uh, every, other than that, all of the keys look like they're pretty standard keys in in the normal area. So that looks pretty good. Pretty thin. It's a pretty decent case for the money. Uh, I 
I give this a pretty decent overall review for the price. It's not going to compare to some of the bigger brands like the Zag, the Belkins, the Logitechs, and some of the other ones that are out there, you know, pound for pound. You do get what you pay for. However, for the price point, this is a pretty good keyboard, I'd say. It seems to type fairly easily. The keys feel decent. So no issues there. If you liked this uh, video, found it useful, please like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later with another review coming up soon. Thanks and have a great day.